Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to finish up this Rhino Zebra project today here. So when we left off last, we were working on the liquify tool to stretch the zebra over top of the Rhino, and we had just made a mask. Let's go ahead and take that mask. We'll just toss him away there. And we'll redo that just so we can review. So we went to our Rhino layer, turn that off just so we can see. And then we went to select, select and mask. And we're going to select subject because he's an isolated figure on a background, selects it very good. We output that to a layer mask. We push okay. We have a good selection of our guy here and then we just took that and drug it right up here to our zebra layer so we open that up on that eyeball we've got a really good rounding and clipped out mask going around to put that shape on there catch all those little edges all right so now finishing up what do we got to do here to finish up so when we turn on our zebra here we can see we're losing a little bit of detail in some of the shadows here on the underbelly and under the legs here and some of the details the wrinkles around the eye and the mouth and uh, some of the skin details so we're gonna try to accentuate that uh, here in just a second and then we need to take the stripes here we're missing uh, the stripes on this part of the leg and it's a little lighter on the inside of the leg so let's start there we're gonna go over to our clone tool here we're gonna get our clone tool and we're gonna set it right and we have a brush it's 150 pixels and it is a soft brush that'll work just fine and we're going to work right here we're going to hold down the option key and set our clone source tool right here and then we are going to paint this right here making sure we're on the right layer we want to be on the zebra layer here so we're going to set that option and then we're just going to click in here and we don't want it to be super heavy because it is on the inside of the leg so make that brush a little smaller as we go down we just want a little hint of some of that stripe on the inside of his leg that looks pretty good stop right there Next thing we need to do up here on the ear, when I turn off the zebra here, this little shape right here is actually his other part of his ear here on the other side of his body and the other side of his head. So we need to go in and we're going to just paint a little bit. We're just going to get the paintbrush tool here and we're just going to paint a little bit here to take that and make the stripe instead of continuing we're going to make the back of his ear black here so we're going to get on this layer with the zebra here and we need to zoom in a little bit here and we're going to select first we're going to start with we're going to hold down option and just go ahead and select this gray right here i've got a hard brush here with my paint brush and again that's going to work i'm not going to be too fuzzy here and i want to paint this in to make a hard line that separates from his ear to his neck. It's pretty good. I don't want to cover up the details up here. Now I'm going to go here and I'm just going to sample a darker, hold down option, sample a darker gray. And I'm just going to round that shape under to give that ear some form I might go right here and I might add just a little bit of highlight I'm going to go up just to click lighter and we'll add a little highlight here so when I zoom out I am happy with my result there all right so I'm happy with that there too all right so now Got our layer mask here. Now the detail that we're losing here and underneath these folds and some of the wrinkles around the eyes, how are we going to take care of that? Well, let's go in here and we can, since we already selected the mask, we can reselect. So we're going to 
do command shift D hopefully not gonna let us do it it's all right we can go back down here selected mask again we're gonna select subject output this time we're gonna go back and do a selection I push OK and we're going to copy this layer right here that we have with our Rhino because we want to copy that. We're going to put a layer on top of the zebra layer and we're going to blend it with our blending modes of our layer here to make it blend in to highlight some of those shadows. So on here, I'm going to do Command C and I'm going to do Command V to duplicate just the Rhino layer there. So I have the Rhino. I'm going to take him and I'm going to drag him above. And then I'm going to take this guy here. I'm going to turn my zebra back on. And now we're going to change the blending mode right over here. We're going to change it to, we want to darken it. There's normal. And the way we want to have it interact underneath is we want to darken up some of these areas here. Okay, let's go ahead and take this guy and we'll take him, we'll play and see what we can get. Let's take him. He's been down because we've been playing with the liquify tool. And take them up to full opacity so we really see what we're working with here we've got a really striking looking animal there but again we've lost all the folds so let's go ahead and put our rhino on here and we need to darken these we're going to have the dark areas interact with underneath so we're going to start here in the dark these guys right here are going to be all dark ones so let's just start with darken right here get on darken and you can see right there immediately it shows you instantly what we're doing we can multiply we can burn this gives a little bit of warm colors to it linear burn that's a little too gray and dark dark in color dark in color is not bad so I would say it's between dark in color darken and multiply so I think we're going to go with darkened color because I like the way that is given our results there. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. But I do want to back off the effect just a little bit. So I'm going to take the opacity. I'm going to take it down just a little bit there and take a look at it. And I am pretty happy with the results there. So that pretty much finishes up our skinning our rhinoceros with the zebra pattern here hopefully you enjoyed that uh, try this stay creative there's more than way and way to do most of these effects so uh, this is one way uh, that we can do it like I said there's always uh, multiple ways to go about this so this is one quick tutorial um, on how to do this um, try yourself see what you can come up with uh, remember to take your time. This stuff is uh, tedious at times, but uh, it can be quite rewarding. Stay creative. Keep your mind and body active. I uh, will talk to you soon.